in order to aid in the decision making on how to to uh, classify uh, a fracture as to whether it's stable or unstable, a very important classification system that's robustly used in, in North America is the subaxial injury classification scale, which looks at three criteria. Morphology with the CT scan, compression, burst, fracture dislocation, flexion distraction. The second um, criteria is the integrity of the disco ligamentous complex. If they're intact, you give a score of two. If they're disrupted, you give a score of, uh, sorry, if they're intact, you give a score of zero. If it's disrupted, you give a score of two. And the uh, neurological status. Patients who are intact receive a score of two. Patients with a complete injury, three, uh, two. Sorry, patients who are intact receive a score of zero. Patients with a complete injury score of two and incomplete injury score of three. You add these up and then you come up with an injury score. If it's more than four, it's unstable. You treat it with a surgery. If less than four, it's stable. You treat it with uh, bracing, uh, be it rigid collar or crown halo vest. Patients with uh, a score of four, you can treat them either way. So let's go to our case here. Uh, these are the ligaments that we uh, that are included in the classification system. ALL, disco ligamentous complex, PLL, and the posterior ligamentous complex that are comprised, that comprise uh, the facet capsular ligaments, ligamentum flavum, interspinous ligaments, and uh, supraspinous uh, ligaments. Back to our case. So we have the neurological exam has a deficit, and we have this fracture morphology, fracture dislocation. What is left to make an assessment as to whether the ligaments are um, uh, disrupted? What, what imaging should we get to make an assessment uh, on, the integ on the integrity uh, of the ligaments? All right. Correct. So this is the MRI. That's a, these are sagittal cuts, and that's an MRA to look at the blood vessels. This is a sagittal cut that shows the fracture dislocation, and you can see here kinking of the spinal cord, compression, and also uh, a spinal cord edema here, some swelling. This is a stir signal that makes a, gives you a better assessment on the integrity of the ligaments. Not surprisingly, the patient's ligaments are torn front to back or back to front, creating a condition of what we call total segmental disruption. The ALL is disrupted, the disco ligamentous complex is disrupted, the uh, PLL is disrupted, ligamentum flavum, capsular ligaments, supraspinous ligaments, and, sorry, interspinous ligaments and supraspinous ligaments are disrupted. We oftentimes get, or universally get actually, an imaging that looks at the uh, blood vessels of the, uh, of, of the neck because sometimes these patients with significant trauma to the necks may have an associated vascular injury, be it a carotid dissection or a vertebral artery dissection. So now we have the complete picture to make an assessment on whether or not the patient has an unstable or a stable injury. Who wants to do the math? Who wants to do it? Okay, I'll do it. So this patient has a uh, fracture dislocation, gets a score of four, has this, Disco ligamentous complex are disrupted front and back, gets a score of two, so six total. And the patient has a complete spinal cord injury, gets a score of two. Total is eight. So eight is more than four. So clearly the patient has an unstable injury. Clearly the patient needs surgical stabilization. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.